during a meeting of the National Portfolio Committee on Police two weeks ago, the chairperson of the committee proposed that the firearms control amendment will not be prioritized, but rather be held back for further consideration. The committee received a presentation on its legislative pipeline and agreed that the FCA bill be held back given the extensive public outcry over the bill. It was presented to the committee that over 118,000 comments were received on the bill during the period for public comment. The Civilian Secretariat for Police, which is responsible for the bill, indicated that comments were being received at over 2,000 comments per day. We've released numerous statements on the issue, written letters and opinion pieces, and produced videos and talks, and created a great deal of awareness on this legislation. And we've worked closely with partners like Gosa, Saga, and many others to highlight how incredibly problematic this bill is. They've called for a national firearms audit of all the police stations across the country, as more than 700 SAPS guns are lost or stolen every year and find their way into the hands of criminals. Instead of disarming law-abiding South Africans, SAPS must stop arming criminals. While we welcome the postponement of the bill, we will continue to call for the bill to be scrapped altogether and that the Minister of Police, Becky Klele, rather focus his attention on fixing the very broken central firearms registry. My colleagues have taken numerous steps over the past year in this regard. They've called on the Minister to abandon his bill, which will only hamper people's ability to protect themselves from dangerous criminals. They called on the Civilian Secretariat to appear before Parliament's Portfolio Committee on police to give a detailed presentation on the Firearms Control Amendment Bill to allow Parliament to fully interrogate the contents and rationale of this unreasonable bill. And they launched and handed in a petition with more than 113,000 signatures opposing the bill. They successfully hosted a virtual firearms summit with many different sectors of society. We even invited Police Minister Becky Trele to be on the debate, although he declined likely because he would have been unable to defend the bill against the overwhelming evidence of the danger it would pose for ordinary people. We will remain vigilant and work with the public and organizations to achieve an outcome which is in the interest of the people of South Africa.